What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? I told you I was coming with a video, man, and as I was, like, planning these past couple of weeks, man, I'm like, how should I introduce this, you know? I know it's kind of a reintroduction because I've been having this page, but, like, I told you guys, the mission is to grow. The mission is to grow. And like the last time you probably checked out my videos, mm, I really didn't have that substance yet. You know, I, I was still trying to find what goodness and love and faith in this world is. But what I was really trying to do in our reality was believe in myself and believe in you. And I'm just thankful to God that he helped me come back to him. He helped me see that just believing in yourself is not enough. I am the reason why you should believe in yourself. My word is how you'll find your purpose. My word is how you'll find that love in your life for yourself. It's how you'll be able to help other people. It's how you'll find prosperity. How, you're, how you'll find honor, how you'll find salvation, how you'll find righteousness. And like, I was trying to sit here and do all these things, you know, fancy edits and fancy titles. It's not about that, man. What it's about is believing in yourself enough to believe in God. Because once you can believe in yourself enough to believe in God, that's when you'll find your purpose. That's when you'll find your path. That's when you'll find joy in life. That's when you'll find peace in life. That's when you find happiness in life. But I understand that this is a process. This is a process. You know, you, you want to look how you want to look. You want to approach things how you want to approach them. You want to do things in ways that you think that they should be done. But in all reality, man... It's about just doing. That's the first step in believing in yourself is just doing. It's just doing. So how do you just do? First off, man, one principle that doesn't change whether you follow God or don't follow God is you got to heal. You have to be able to look in the mirror and say, hey, some bad experiences happened to me. I lost my way. I lost sight. How I was living wasn't the right way to live. You know? It, it just wasn't right. And for me, that was, since the last video drop until now, that was a realization that I really had to sink my teeth into. And I really had to come to grips with. And because of that, I realized, hey, I need to start taking care of myself. I need to get clarity in my mind. My thoughts, my words, my actions have to be more focused, more disciplined. There has to be an aim. And I was trying all these things. And I realized the most simple way to live was to trust God, believe in God. And once I started doing that, he showed me who he was. But here's the thing. Even once you find out who God is, you have to accept him in your life. And how do you accept God? You accept Jesus. Now, that can be a loaded term. That can be a loaded statement. But in reality, it's not. Jesus, God, is three parts. He's the creator. He made us. He made everything around us. He made this, 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 this beautiful 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 world that we live in you know he gave us life he gave us breath he gave us gifts our mind body and soul and we have to take care of those things and how do we take care of those things we believe in him we give it all to him that's how we do those things that's how we accomplish the life that we want to accomplish. That's how we live the life that we want to live. 
but you have to follow God's word. Why? Because this isn't the the own this isn't the real life. That's also a loaded term. Yes, we live this life, but this is just a part of life. Because eventually we've got to go back to him. No matter how how far you try to run, how to far you try to misconstrue things, the only path to life is accepting Jesus in your heart. But you, a lot of people think you have to have some fancy ceremony, some fancy ritual. No. In Romans 10, it says, if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, then you are saved. If you believe in your heart that God's word is incorruptible, that God's word is love, that it's redemption, that it's salvation, that it's grace, and you start following it, and you start filling yourself with it, that's how you gain life. That's how you gain life. And guess what's going to start happening? Guess what's going to start happening once you start believing in Jesus, once you start believing in his word? Guess what's going to happen? You'll find life. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that funny? God's like that. God's like that. You'll find life because you know what? Once you start following God's word, you're like, you know what? I love myself. I believe in myself. I'm, I'm not a monster to society. I'm not useless. Bad things don't only happen to me. I just have to be obedient. I just have to trust God. I just have to love him. I just have to depend on him. I just have to exist for him. I have to offer up who I am in my life daily to him. Daily to him. 2 Timothy 1 and 7 says that God did not give us a spirit of timidness, but a spirit of power, love, and self-discipline. We have it in us to be who we need to be to fulfill our purpose. Our will has to be his will and vice versa. Our thoughts, our words, our mindset has to be his mindset and vice versa. And his and you got to remember, all things were created through him and for him. All things are held together within him. You have to put that ego aside to be able to say, you know what? God, you're better than me. God, you're perfect. Everything about you is perfect, God. Everything about you is perfect. So I'm going to choose to obey you and follow you because there's nothing better. Nothing better. Nothing better. And then once you start doing that, you start realizing, I want to see God. I want to hear God. I want to do his will. I want to help other people do that. It, that's what being a good person is. Leading others to God so that they can experience his love. They can experience his purpose. They can experience his will. They can experience his salvation. Because at the end of the day, we want to be reunited with God. We want to be next to God. We want to see God. We want to be able to stand in God's presence. Or all of this is meaningless. All of this is meaningless. So yes, life is important because you're showing God, hey, I love you. I trust you. I know you're the best thing for me because at the end of the day, God created us for love. He's not no dictator. He's not no warlord. He just simply wants us to love him. But can you bend that ego down enough to follow him? Can you bend that ego down enough to say, hey, you know what? This is the creator. How I was living life wasn't the best. Who I was being wasn't the best. Can you wake up and put on a full armor of God every day? Can you move about life with the sword of the spirit? Do you mind growing every day for God? Do you mind growing every day for God? Do you want to touch another level? And if you're like me, you want to. You want to touch another level. You want to be different. You want to fill your spirit. You want to do these things. I promise you, it may not look like much, but this is the happiest I've been. Following God, following God, getting myself together, loving myself, taking care of myself. Sometimes I feel unbeatable because I know that the work that I do, I know that the work that I do, 1 Corinthians 15 and 58 says, don't let nobody push you away. Don't let nobody turn you around because we know that the work that we do is for the Lord. We know that. We know that. 
Jude 1, 20 through 21 says, keep building your faith. Keep praying in the Holy Spirit so that you stay in God's love as you patiently wait for Christ to lead you to glory. As you patiently wait for God's word to lead you to glory. Use the tools that he gave you to the best of your ability. That doesn't change. Use your mind. Use your body. Use your soul. I've started working out now. You know why? Simply for the fact that I want to be ready. I want to be healthy. I want to be at any time, be ready for God to use me. But that doesn't just mean lifting weights. That means beating whatever you're addicted to. Whatever, whatever makes you depend more on than you depend on God. You know, you don't want that. Once you realize that God is everything, everything gets simpler and sweeter. I understand now what God meant when he said, hey, my burden is light. It's light because if, if you allow God to remold you, to reshape you, if you follow his word, if you fill yourself with his Holy Spirit, if you do that, if you do that, you'll find life, honor, and prosperity. Proverbs twenty one twenty one says those who pursue righteousness and love find life, honor, and prosperity. That doesn't mean love of people, love of money, none of that. It means love of God. Everything I do is so I can be prepped for God to use me. Because, yes, this is a journey for all, but this is a journey for you. When you stand in front of God, do you want to be burnt up or do you want to be consecrated? But in reality, you're being consecrated right now. When I see God, I want to be able to look, look him in the face. Well, I won't be able to look him in the face. He's too great. But I want to be able to say, God, I lived for you. I existed for you. I depended on you. I trusted you. I didn't test your grace and mercy. I took care of your blessings. I offered myself up daily to you so that I could be a leader in your kingdom. A leader doesn't mean you're just the one person leading everybody, though. A leader means that, you know what? I showed everyone that following you was the best thing I ever did. The best thing I ever did. Best thing I ever did. You know, our steps are ordered in Proverbs 16 and 9. It says that man plans their course of life in their heart, but God orders their steps. If you become obedient, if you trust God, if you follow Christ, if you say Jesus is Lord, he'll order your steps, man. You've just got to be willing day in and day out, day in, day out, day in and day out, day in and day out to grow. Don't be afraid of growth. That's growth. It's not about the results. It's about figuring it out. It's about figuring it out. And then understand this on this walk. In Philippians 14 and 9, God says that he will provide all our needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus. Another part of Romans 8 says that if God is for us, who can be against us? Huh? If God is for us, who can be against us, man? Huh? If he gave us his only begotten son, if he gave us his word, what more won't he give us? His word is the greatest. His word is the absolute greatest. But day in and day out, you got to be ready. You got to be willing to see God, hear God, do his will. Be obedient. You got to be willing to be focused. You got to be willing to be disciplined. Got to have sexual morality, sexual control. You got to have that. Be kind, but firm. Integrity means standing on your faith. That's what integrity means. And I promise you, once you get lost in this journey, that self-confidence will be built. That clarity in your mind will become. That anxiety will start to go away. Because you realize I serve a God that will never fail me. You realize that. This is the walk. This is the walk. So I'm encouraging you now, man. If you're not on the walk, get on the walk, man. Get on the walk. And I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you, man. I'm here to help you. My podcast, it's free on Spotify. It's the Open Notes podcast, man. Go check it out. My TikTok, just another dude, underscore after A-N-T-H-R, man. That's how you spell That's how I spelled it. You know, I had to do it a little bit like that, man. Check out my Snapchat, BPC underscore 17. I want you to be your best. That's my job. I want you to be the best that you can be. I want you to be even bigger than me, man. Because you know why I want to be able to say, hey, God, look, 
We're all a part of your love, man. At this part of God's kingdom, I like to call it the human agency where we all live on earth and we're all humans and we're all really the same thing. We're all really following the same path, but we're made unique. We're all the human family, man, complete and victorious followers of Christ. I want you to be able to say, God, I did what you created me to do. We are his handiwork. We are his weapons of righteousness. We are that, man. This is the walk, and I'm asking you to join me.